See, when you when you really receive the spirit of truth, the spirit that's out here, your own Holy Spirit, because every God and goddess and king and queen, the prince and princess, we have our very own. Now, you get to decode the Bible for what it really is. Like, how could you, walk, you know, just imagine the narcissist that, you know, Christ and Yahweh was. They said, walking around with blind faith. Something is based on what you don't see. That doesn't make any sense at all. You know, that's like telling your son or daughter, oh, have blind faith that you're going to live and they wind up dying. You know, or, 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 or telling your wife, have blind faith. You know, that's just the point. How, you, how could you have blind faith? If the, if the blind leads the blind, they fall in the ditch. So, you know, so, so just remember, you can decode the Bible with all the nonsense. And the reason why you can tell, you know, like I said, um, I use the analysis of what people call a narcissist. You can tell because all, all, all the Bible did was do bad in the beginning. Do, do bad in the beginning in the Old Testament, right? That's what um, Yahweh was. He did, he did bad in the beginning. He killed, he did everything wrong. He had Christ come in the New Testament and like, you know, like the Jews and the Israelites forgot about all that bad stuff that he did. Like they forgot why they was rebellious. You understand what I'm saying? So that's, that's why he said I have blind faith because he wanted to just, just, just forget about everything that he did. I'm not going to address, he, he, as you can see, Christ didn't address nothing that Yahweh actually did. He didn't address any of that stuff. So when he said blind faith, like they say, okay, if people always talk about narcissist, narcissist that, if them people that are empaths were really empathetic, they would realize what a, um, what a joke and what a um, gaslighter Christ is and what God is and everything else. They would realize that. So, you know, because like they say, if somebody do that, if, if I or somebody else do that, they say, oh, you're a narcissist. But because God do it, he's not a narcissist. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. That's just the point. So remember, uh, like I said, remember, if you walk around with blind faith, that means you don't have any kind of faith. He's telling you, blind yourself, but have faith. <laughs> so always remember, you can decode the Bible and, 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 and all this nonsense in many, and so many different ways. And that's really, that's really when you receive the spirit of truth that comes upon you from yourself and amongst those that are really, really um, awoke and really on that level and really gods, really kings, really queens and really on a level, you know, that's not scared. That's just the point. That's the point. So remember, you can't walk around with blind faith because with blind faith, remember your faith is blind. Always remember the key words that, that they use. And like I said, you know, they try a lot of different tricks. Like they, they, they say, Gnosis, the God and Christ put a lot of different things. Good, bad, bad, good, good, bad, bad, good, good. Christ is just good, 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 good. Anybody that tell you to have blind faith, it's not good at all. Have real faith in yourself and those around you and keep your faith up in yourself, in your shield and everything else that you gave into yourself because it's not from Yahweh. It's from your way, my way, our way. Peace.